G'day guys and welcome to round two of Mixed Matchups. The much anticipated bout between Zach Dawson, the three club AFL player, formerly from the Hawthorne Football Club, St Kilda Football Club, now at the Dockers, and also Lee Spur, mature age recruit last year, has been everywhere, born on the Gold Coast, moved to Adelaide Central Districts and he's over here at the Fremantle Dockers now. So really exciting second round. Let's meet the contestants. All right, as I mentioned, we've got Zach Dawson in the white corner, weighing in at 90-something kilograms, about 190-something centimetres, from Essendon in Victoria. Number three for the Fremantle Dockers, Zach Dawson. G'day, guys. In the purple corner, weighing in at 83 kilograms, 184 centimetres, from the Gold Coast, Lee Spur. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> now, the two contestants obviously today are playing to go through to the grand final of Mixed Matchup. Lockie Neal wins round one. He's through to the grand final. The boys are really excited to see who gets to go and match up against Lockie and the other finalists in a few weeks' time. But today's prize, they are playing for this... Fremantle Dockers snapback hat, which you can come down and purchase from the Fremantle team store here at Fremantle Oval. Let's get started on... Mix Match Up. <laughs> First questions are for Lee Spur. These questions are about Zach Dawson. Question one. What number did Zach Dawson wear for St Kilda? Um, can I phone a friend? You don't have any friends. Oh, uh, oh. That one, didn't he? Zing. Um, 43. And I'll tell you how he knows that. We were watching YouTube clips of Zach the other night and he has absolutely steamrolled Barry Hall a few years ago. So good, good, great work, Zach. Wearing the number 43 for St Kilda. One question what? One to come. What is the name? No. No. If, if, when, when it's called... When it's called Lee's Linguistics, then I'll let you make the rules. What is the name of Zach's cat? Schmeagel? <laughs> Looks like Schmeagel, but incorrect. Its real name is? Abby. I knew that. <laughs> Good question, Mick. Okay, on to Zach's questions. One from two. How many premierships did Lee spur play for at the Central Districts Football Club in the Sandful? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. In, uh, that's wrong. <laughs> two. Spurry played in two premierships at Central Districts. Second question. In what month is Spurry's birthday? July. July. One all going into the buzzer better round. The boys are going to choose their buzzers and test them out now. Obviously, first one in gets first crack at the question. If they get it wrong, passes over to the other contestant. And Zach, your buzzer is? Dawson. <laughs> M2. M2. M2 versus Dawson. <laughs> Yeah, great stuff. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited. I know. Nearly extra points over here for how excited this guy is. What are your thoughts, fans? <laughs> <laughs> Question one. Buzzer beat around. We need to get you guys in here. Okay. Buzzer beat around. Let's do it. <laughs> Who received a nomination for goal of the year last time we played Hawthorne? Yeah, Dawson. <laughs> Lockie. Lockie Neal. That's correct. Dors Zach takes the lead. Two to one. Board to Pavlich. Back to Neal. Well worked. Can they finish? That's a splendid finish. This next question, we've gone a little bit out of the box on mixed matchups today. We've gone to the audio question. Who is this voice? I find myself behaving. <laughs> oh, everything everything happened really quickly there, but M2, Lee Spur got in first with the correct buzzer. Jeff Kennett. Jeff Kennett, former Hawthorne president. I find myself behaving like any other football-loving bogon. Question three. Against Hawthorne this weekend, 
Who plays their 50th AFL match? M2. Dawson. <laughs> you can't let me go. Hang on. M2's, M2's <laughs> buzzed in. What is going on here? You're on delayed uh, reaction. Uh, hey, you, Mick Barlow. The correct answer is... Mick Barlow. Well done. Yeah. Lee Spur, Purple Corner, takes out mixed matchups. Yeah. Obviously, the second contestant to win mixed matchups. Um, going through to the final against Lockie Neal. Really exciting time, I'd imagine, in your day. Yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon. Look, Dorse uh, fumbled at the crucial. Did look over the moon? <laughs> he, uh, he, fell, he fell at the line. He fell on his own sword, so to speak. And if we can just get a quick swing around to Zach over here. He is absolutely fuming. <laughs> He's not happy. So we'll get Zach over here. We'll see you in a few weeks, Lee. Okay, bye. Over here, Zach, um, really disappointing end result there for, for you, mate. I know you've been building yourself up for mixed matchups and to, to bow out to Spur, he's uh, a little bit disappointing, but do you wish him all the best for the going forward into the final? Well, judging by how he went today, he's not going to go very well. So um, all the best, but I don't really mean it. And also, I, th I think the, the viewers will agree, you were the, the clear class on the day, but you just couldn't execute execute your role and um, get the result. As we all know, know, it's about execution of role, and I just, just failed to do that today. We'll bounce back next week. Actually, I won't, because I'm not doing this again. <laughs> you did give a great effort here on Mixed Matchups. So thanks again, guys, for joining us. We will be back for the round three in a few weeks' time, and then, obviously, the final after that. Well done, Lee Burke. Commiserations to Zach Dawson. We'll see you guys next time on Mixed Matchups.